We're moving. <laughs> we are moving. We're moving. We are moving. One more flight to go. I'm closing up shop and we'll see you on the road. What's up, home team? Go time. Okay, we are. Um, We're going to a new home, so we'll have a new home team. That's right. We're on our way. Uh, well, today is road trip day. We are road tripping from Dallas to Nashville. If you're just stumbling across this video, we're moving from Dallas to Nashville. It's morning. We still haven't had our coffee yet. Yeah, we so need we're coffee. We're do that. We're actually on our way to pick up Noah's ashes. Noah's ashes. So um, make the road trip with us. Yeah, if you are not a subscriber to our channel, our dog recently passed away from cancer. It's really, really sad. Devastating, actually. And um, we're picking up his ashes today. So we we were like, Hunter's parents were like, oh, do you want us to grab him you can, next time? You know, It had an extra 30 minutes of the trip, but we are like, you know what? Yeah, exactly. It's important for it. him to make the road trip with us because we bought this house while he was still alive, thinking he was coming with us. So he is coming with us. Thanks for calling. Hello, how can I help you? Hey, so we're here to pick up Noah Havens' ashes. Noah Havens? Yes, ma'am. Alright, let me check with the front desk and um, make sure they're ready. Okay, right, one minute, please. perfect. I'm pretty sure they... Thank you for holding. Yes, they are here, ready to go. Um, and someone will be right out, bring those right out to you. Liz, we're not gonna leave for Nashville without you. We would never do that. I asked Julia if I'd be a psychopath if I wanted to get Noah taxidermy. He goes, maybe just one paw. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> like a rabbit's foot? I said, you know, like a rabbit's Honestly, foot. Honestly, like, I, like, I would be fine with you it. You know, like a rabbit's I would be foot fine with on a keychain, <laughs> how you used to have those rabbit's foot? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. It had the rabbit's That's foot. That's like a little, little weird. What if I had, like, weird. Goose's paw? Sort of I, it's definitely weird. I wouldn't do it. I think it's a funny concept to think about. But, like, it would be kind of nice to have. But his paws are so much bigger than. I know. It'd be like a huge paw on the keychain. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. Goose. This is in a box. Hold on, what, what's the cards? I am gone before your face, a moment's time, a little space. When you come where I have stepped, ye will wonder why we wept. Oh, I'm gonna cry, don't do that. Now whenever I see someone with a dog, I go enjoy a while it lasts. No. I feel like I'm that lady in, um, in bridesmaids, when she the the couple comes in to get an engagement ring, and they're like so in love and excited, and she goes, "That will go away." <laughs> That's what I want to say to dog owners. I'm like so salty. We learned a lot from his passing, and I think that was you know one thing. Obviously, like we haven't had anything like that crazy happen in our life that we've like you know had to go through any extreme loss of like a human or anything and we feel like so lucky about that and it makes us like it brought us like down a few notches where we were like okay we really need to like appreciate each other and everyone that's in our life and yeah if, if this were a person that were sick it would just be i mean that's like you almost like i don't feel like you can ever even recover from that not that we're recovering it slows your roll a little bit yeah and put you on pause yeah um, get it kind of step back and look at our life and just like be really thankful for what we've got and just how happy are, we are to have each other and our family Very members nice. and just yeah. like friends really appreciate each day mm -hmm. so um kind of like wakes you up a little yeah. bit you know like we we also just seeing like goose get sick i know he's a dog but we were just thinking like well we really need to like pay attention to everything that we're putting in our bodies putting in our environment um and cancer is like real you know and it affects so many people mm -hmm. we've both had um hunter's mom's gone through cancer and same with my dad and luckily they're both healthy now but they both went through like either chemo or radiation and they're both in yeah. in the clear right now and like you know even like 
that is a wake up call, but like not like death of some something or someone really close. Totally. Just like take more preventative action. And someone said like the best preventative action is just like checkups like every year. Checkups and catching yeah. something early. Catching something early. And just taking care of your body. Eating like it's all about what it's like about what you eat. And what you ingest and what you, you know what's in your environment. Yeah. Although it was a very sad moment for us and it's still like we still have our hard days. Um we feel thankful that it like was a good reality check. We're trying to see some positives in it. And I think yeah. some of the biggest positives we pulled out is like the reality check and kind of checking ourselves and like the consumption mm -hmm. and like what we're putting in our bodies, what we're yep. eating, kind of, we eat pretty healthy for the most part, as y'all seen, but like kind of making some like little changes. And spending time with people that you love too. Got it. Got the starbs, got, got the goods, goods. <laughs> got the goodies. Oh, how many times have we said got the goods? Probably too many. <clears throat> Cheers. Cheers to Nashville, Cheers babe. to Nashville. Yeah. It's probably like... My goal is to... This is my last one of these. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are talking about cancer and being healthy and then eating a sugar drink from Starbucks. Not much sugar. Just a little bit of... But you know, you guys... A little cold foam. If you don't talk about these things out loud... God, my hair looks fried. Then they might not ever happen. Doesn't it? No, it doesn't. You just need a curling product. You need to keep your curls hydrated. Yeah, I mean, I'm hydrated. They've told you this a million times. I know. I, I just, I know. All the curly girls told us. Keep them curls hydrated. We, um, I we was got thinking, goose, now we need gas. We got goose, now we need gas. Coping Can with we the get loss. waters or anything? No, you I feel like gas station pit stops are, are key. You really have important. this. You don't need anything. I know. Do you need anything? So I'll just share with you because we I'm should not. I'm a nice husband and asking you if you need anything. We shouldn't probably drink that much water because then we're going to have to go to the bathroom a lot. You're getting the call. Okay, we're up today. Shoes right. are good. Just stop for a little bathroom break. Mm. And just open a bag of pecans that my dad gave me on the way out. Mm. Road trip snack. You guys know Hunter's addicted to pecans. I'm not addicted to them, but. Well, it's okay. not like an unhealthy addiction. You just love them. They're your favorite, your favorite food. <laughs> it's not my favorite food. I think they are. It's my favorite snack. They're your favorite snack. Yeah. He could probably eat, he'll probably eat this whole bag, maybe on this road trip. Well, we'll eat it. You'll have some too. I don't eat them as much though, because they're very filling. Like, they're dense. They are delicious, but you know, you're only supposed to have like a serving size of pecans, like a handful. Probably like nine pecans. A lot of fat in pecans. Yeah. Um, it says 16 servings per container. Yeah. Yeah, maybe put those away. We're trying to slow down on the water uh, because we already shopped at the eat twice. So, in the first like two hours, we put our water bottles away and we're gonna have to just like beat their heat bitches. Okay, but we're listening to Joe Rogan. Great episode, Dr. Carl Hart, who's a doctor. Yeah, really interesting. I prefer the doctors and the scientists. Me too. I yeah. love those ones. I, like I love their, like learning that stuff, their perspectives. Yeah. It's a good way to expand like your mind by listening to someone else's perspective. I know. Oh, that one tastes weird. Okay. Top it off with a good one. I'm good. Okay. All right. Okay. We're actually about to stop in Little Rock. We'll be in Little Rock in like two hours. We'll vlog that. And then Memphis, and then Nashville. So we figured we would stop in Little Rock for some lunch. Uh, some lunch. We'll see you there. Road trip snack number one. Road trip snack. And this is like the classic road trip snack. Mm -hmm. Like, it's really the only, really the main time I only eat McDonald's is on a road trip. Right? We're sharing a large fry. We tried to, probably both could have eaten one back. We're trying to control ourselves. But I feel like a road trip is just about the only time I feel acceptable to eat a bunch of junk food. Well, the water's rolling around down there. It is. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Here, let me put it. I, I, I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I think it's kind of dangerous. We're in Arkansas, and like we said, we're still gonna stop in Little Rock, but it's 2:30 right now, and we haven't eaten lunch yet, so we needed a snack. And then we'll probably be there in about an hour. Yeah. And we'll eat like a full meal. And probably be like our it. main meal of the day. And our lunch dinner. Yeah. Basically. Unless you want to go out to the pond, I guess we'll grab maybe some dinner tonight. We'll probably order. 
kind of fun to have a first meal as pizza at the house. I know. That'd be cute. Oh my god. It's gonna be a whole new world. You're doing of one at a time? Yeah. It's gonna be a whole new world of Uber Eats. I know. I cannot wait for it. Like new things. Like what's gonna be the sauce of Nashville? I know. Well, you know what? I'm looking. I'm really hoping that we are in close proximity to like a sushi barbecue kind of place like I would really love to have quick access to that yeah. where we can get sushi sushi easily or like good sushi like a veggie rice bowl with like grilled chicken Ooh. on like a hibachi grill well, like not not on like just saute chicken I'm talking like more of an authentic place what are uh, Hunter always drops food in the car so no I don't just get it together I just drop everything in the car you drop it down the cracks. I always get on him about it. I'll find you. And he right. gets on me for my sleeve dipping in the salt on when I'm going for it. Top three things you're most excited about. About this move? Or for not Nashville. like once we're Nashville. There? I'm sorry. I think the like quick and easy access to like things we desire. Okay. Like food mostly. Okay. So you're excited about the food? I love newness. So I'm just excited for like, not just a new house, but like new environment, new setting, new, new like life in general, like new uh, adventure, if that makes sense. I just like newness. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I really like change a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't like being static or yeah. stationary. So I'm excited for that. I mean, I'm really excited to like decorate this, the place. I think we know what our taste is, but because we only saw the house the week end we were here looking at it, mm -hmm. I feel like we didn't know if we are going to get it then. And now that we know we have it, I don't know like what we're going to do with this place now because yeah. we haven't been back. So totally. It's going to be interesting to see how it turns out over time. And I'm just excited to get there. Like I'm excited to settle in, get there, uh, have new experiences, like new friends, new people, new yeah. places. And I, I think we're gonna flourish there. So I'm excited to see like how our relationship is when you're like flourishing the most. Like I wanna see you flourish. Agree, likewise. Yeah. I think you're gonna flourish. I have a gut feeling that you're gonna flourish more than me there. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know. I just do, which I want that for you. I have a feeling you're gonna flourish actually because I feel like you're gonna be close to some close friends that will give you the energy you sometimes look for. Uh -huh. I don't have to be around close friends to receive energy. I should be around people yeah. to receive energy. I think you require I like a more of a closeness. Comfort and close friends. Mm -hmm. That's a good observation. I would agree with that. So I think you're gonna flourish because you're gonna be around close friends, but also new friends that become close. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I'm really excited for a different lifestyle, like different things around, different things going on, different experiences, living in a different place with like, it looks different, things are different, people are different. New just experiencing a different culture. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think like honestly, the, like the fact that we're living like in a city and just like being back like near things and like in a busier area. Yeah, I'm like really stoked for that because we've been kind of out in a like suburb for a long time, and I just don't know if it was for us. It was. It served its purpose. It did. It did. I just don't know. I feel like almost the older I get, like the more city I'm becoming. Like I could, I used to never imagine myself like living in like New York City or something busy like that. Like that. And now I'm like, I could do that. I could totally do that. And I never used, I used to be like, that would stress me out. Well, I think you're still young. So I think you're wanting to get some city time over the next couple years. Nashville is a really good choice for us because it's not like a city like New York or San Francisco where it's like sky rises you know it's not that type of city it's more of a suburban city kind of like Dallas 
um, where there's so many little like neighborhood residential pockets, even though it's all in Nashville. There's like streets where there's a lot of homes and yards and things like that. And so that's why I like it, it's kind of a fusion. All right, we just pulled up to downtown Little Rock and we're gonna grab some lunch. We're gonna go to Samantha's Tap Room and Wood Grill. A lot of you guys suggested that we go there. I didn't know Little Rock like was such a like, had such a like city. Yeah, I mean, it's a city. I know, I know. I don't know. I'm delusional. Yeah. You don't know until you go places. Or you travel or else you just think all these things in your head and you never know. You think Little Rock was like what? I, I don't know. I didn't think it had like a downtown area. I don't know why I thought that. I didn't know it was that big. I thought it was small. Yum, okay, we're in here. I got the chopped salmon salad. It's recommended by many of you. I got the lamb chopped lollipops. Yeah, it looks bomb. So Let's go. I really like the shape of this salad bowl. I've the never- It's called Infora. Infora. I've never had a square salad bowl, but I really like it. So I just looked at the bottom and Hunter and I took a picture of the brand name. Oh yeah. Well, we gotta delicious. give Samantha's tap room an A plus. A plus. We loved it. It was good. Let me get that water bottle away from here. You're making me nervous. Just don't like put it too far. Oh, right here. You just let me know if you need it, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We just got Gasolina. our last gas pit stop. We're getting here later than expected because we like started late. Started late, dilly kind dallied. of dilly dallied. We did dilly dally. Um, every stop we stop at, like we walk through the aisles of like the candy and the chips. We're like, should we get something? And we like debate it for don't. like ten minutes and then we don't. And then we stopped and had lunch and like instead of just fast food and just like boom boom, we probably killed at least an hour there. I know that was kind of nice. No, it was really nice, but because of that. The duration of the day has been longer than expected, so. Totally. But I don't care, there's no reason to rush. I know. Our um, movers already got to our house and dropped off our mattress. Oh, so we need to stop at like Walmart or Target and get and some And just bedding. get some bedding because our bedding is still in the truck. We just wanted to drop off our mattress so we're not sleeping on the floor. So they dropped yeah. off our mattress and then they hit the hay. Okay. And then um, they'll be back in the morning. Okay. And our painters cool. finished today. We had our house painted white, just a fresh, White yeah, coat it, of paint. it wasn't white. It was like off white and it was off white. We just figured, you know what? Before we even yeah, move in, that was in, our and... biggest regret. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Off. No, no, go ahead. That was our biggest regret at after our last house was not just painting it right right before we moved in because it makes decorating so much easier. Um, so we're painting it white, yeah. uh, simply white, but Benjamin more. Yeah, I think we're gonna be so happy that we move into this house and it's like already the color across the whole house that we wanted. I know. It was like a really smart decision and I it's worth so the money. It's totally painting and getting painters is expensive, but I think it's worth every penny. Yeah, I mean, so it was for us at least. We'll be really happy to have that painted. Or your all your decor will be off if you don't have the right paint. Yeah. I mean, in my opinion. So they wrapped that up today. The movers dropped the mattress off and we are good to spend there tonight. We just probably need to get, need to get not like, only just sheets, sheets but we need and, like uh, a comforter and, and pillows. pillows. Yeah, so all right, we'll do that's that. fine. We can always just like be nice if we could stop at a Costco. They're not open, are they? They're not open. They close at like six or seven. Yeah, we'll have to do Target. Might as well. Maybe hit up our first Target run. Oh. Kind of nice. Yeah. But anyways, we figured we'd check in. We're about 40 minutes away. It's almost nine, so we'll get there around 9.40. It's nice and cold in Tennessee. 36 degrees. It's perfect. Lots of trees, which we like. And it's weird like being on like the outskirts of, in, I, I'm excited to explore other parts of Tennessee besides Nashville because I know that's just a city. It's like going to, you know, any like San Francisco and not leaving. There's so much around San Francisco, yeah. you know? So I want to see other parts of the Tennessee. The road trip yeah. was a little uh, less uneventful. Or a little more uneventful than I expected. Yeah. Because it's a lot of like long straightaways. Yeah, a lot of trucks. I would say for the most part, it hasn't felt like we're moving yet. I know. It felt like it yesterday I and know. the day before, like everything we've been doing to, to prep for the move. Yeah. And pack and stuff for the move. It felt like it this morning when we were like taking off on the road trip. I know. But this drive itself just felt well, like a, a little... long drive. It, it didn't feel like as exciting of like 
we're moving, drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. And I'm I just agree. trying to be honest. I'm not trying to like, wah, wah, wah. Yeah, yeah. But it's been just like, we've been listening to music, listening to podcasts. It's been really fun. Yeah. But it hasn't been because it's just like a lot of truckers and stuff. I'm just like weaving in and out of truckers. It's oh, like, that was good. I kind of ruined it. A little bit. It didn't ruin it, but it's just like kind of. so many trucks, you guys, and there's a two lane road the entire way. The which whole is way. really not that many lanes no. when you're driving this far. And with how many truckers? I've never seen this many truckers. So this must be like a popular route. It was like a game of Frogger the entire time. Yeah. That's basically what it was. Next stop, Nashville. Crazy. To our town. Okay, we are in Nashville. We are just making a quick pit stop at Target because we gotta get some bedding for our mattress. So we're gonna pick that up quick and see what we can find. I'm kind of feeling this version right. I don't know why. Love you. Mm, that's or we're in the Casa Luna section. Should we challenge ourselves to not go so neutral? Mm, I always regret it when I don't do that. Oh look at these, they have Supima sheet set. That looks nice. So we got basically four towels. We got about 19 pillowcases. We just want stuff to comforter. take a shower yeah. and because they haven't unpacked anything. Oh, trash cans. We're gonna need those. We're gonna need a lot of stuff. I mean, we'll be fine. We just need a couple stuff to shower with tonight. Just some, some good pillows. pillows. We need four pillows. Down, surround, pillow. That's not really anything. Get two of those. How squishy are you cool with that? You this is medium. Fun. It is really squishy, huh? Pretty squishy. That's really squishy. Too squishy for us. Won't go flat. No, I, won't. I like it to go flat a little bit. Okay, we're grabbing some more pills. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Huh? <laughs> Getting checking out. Got our stuff so we can sleep. I guess we can wake up and go get like coffee or something. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> we made it. We made it. We made it. Just pulled in. One of the moving trucks is already here. That's right. Yeah, then we'll be here tomorrow. We're gonna go in. Okay. Cheers.